along the coast of the capital city in our motherland on the spot of the Greenwich Meridian in the heart of the harbor city of Ghana established on 22nd September 1961 by the nation's first president Osagefo Dr Kwame Nkrumah with the aim of expanding higher education in the country. Tema Secondary School is a premier second cycle institution in the Tema metropolis. First headed by a historian and a former minister of education Dr. Francis K. Boa was a student's population of 52 and a staff strength of 6. The school was ready for a takeoff. At this juncture, every single activity that added up to giving the school its unique identity was sure going to find its way into the daylight of the school's history books. The first of it was the school crest created by Dr. F. K. Boa with five crucial symbolisms. In the center is an anchor cast in deep sea. This represents Tema, the harbor city of which the school is an integral part. It also stands for the virtues of hope self-confidence and self-reliance in every sphere. Enclosing the ankle is a circle, the symbol of perfection. The beige and green flank in the circle were the colors of the first set of uniforms for the boys and girls in the school. The maroon in the background of the crest symbolizes mobility and dignity in our indigenous Ghanaian culture. Bringing the symbols in vivid relief are gold bands indicating the high quality of institutional and moral training for which the school stands. Uh, there is an interesting background as to how uh, enrollment was done at the school because at the time the common trans uh, exams had been held already and so the headmaster, the first headmaster, and the person of uh, we're going Father Boa, for the well, Reverend Father, Catholic Father, he had to go around the various uh, regions and conduct late entrance exams to select um, candidates for the first batch of students that came in. So, in the course of doing that. You had a whole range of um, age distribution. Some were um, quite you know, above age. Some were the other way. Others were around the normal age one would expect to enter uh, second driving stations at the time. A few were also younger, but it was a blend. And along the line, despite the age differences, we worked things out in and we became a whole family. Dr. F. K. Boa, the first headmaster, was in no doubt a visionary. During his stewardship, most of the school's infrastructure was put up. The school was hence set off on a path that would progressively lead to what we now have as a mature academic institution. When I look at the life I lead today, I always thank my God first and foremost, and I said thank you to Tema School as well. Uh, probably if I had not gone to Tema School, I wouldn't be where I am today. Uh, the school has molded me, it has taught me through thick and thin, it has really uh, made me appreciate uh, what is good and what is bad. Um, it nurtured me from my toddler, uh, a toddler 12 year old boy to you know, manhood. Uh, I learned a lot from Thomas in terms of both in and outside the classroom. In the classroom, the teachers will let, let you understand why you're there. Uh, outside the classroom, the seniors will also tell you, you know, what uh, life is all about. Um, it is very important for everyone to, to note that um, um, being in the midst of people, you don't only just train the mind, you also train 
your your interaction, social interaction. And this is what I got from Thomas School, which has actually built me up to this point. Mrs. Eunice Kwanza, the first best all-round lever, was approved the first anchorite to head the school. Under her administration, the school was linked to Woolwich Borough, Greenwich, UK. A team of students and teachers had the opportunity to visit the UK for two weeks on two separate occasions. In her capacity as headmistress and with her vision at work, a number of projects were initiated. Notably were introduction of information technology through an agreement with a computer company which established their laboratory in the school. In addition was the installation of observatory technology in 2003 for viewing the astronomy. The first of its kind installed by the Japanese in Africa for academic exercise. Its essence was realized during the 2006 solar eclipse in Ghana where students view the formation of the eclipse aided by the technology. Get Fun Project was initiated in the school which involved building up the girls dormitory yet to be completed. While ADB financed projects were also started under her administration. In January 2008, Mrs. Elizabeth Ama Asari, transferred from Laboni Secondary School, took up the mantle of headship of the school. It's great to be the headmistress of Tema Secondary School now. It's the big school in Tema Metropolis. Almost everybody wants the world to come here. I feel highly honored, but it is also challenging because of the large number of uh, student population and lack of uh, staff accommodation to help the control of students. In spite of that, I do my best to rope in all teachers as well as the prefectural body. So we work as a team and that makes the work more easy for me. And the head leadership has been increasing infrastructure and paving of the muddy space between FK Boahol in the dining hall to create space for student activities and morning assembly. Improvements in dining hall facilities. Improvements in monitoring of teaching and learning. In the last, from the last thing, what's next? Contents. There has been drastic improvements in academics, sports, social and spiritual lives of the school since she took over. All these and many other significant marks she achieved under her progressive reign. It is therefore in no doubt that the school will see immense transformation by the end of her commitment. To improve the status quo of the school, I intend to keep the teamwork that I have started to bring everybody on board, ask for suggestions, ask for criticism so that with that we will know that it is not a one-man show but all of us are involved in developing the school. Our aim is to bring Tema Secondary School to a point that it can be even converted to a university for the metropolis. Though so large a school's population of 2,270, every student reads one program out of five main courses in the school at a time. The courses include general science, general arts, business, visual arts, and home economics. Under the tutorship of 105 teachers, Neil Nacy Optima, only the best. As the school's motto reads, there has been continual improvement in academic achievements, with some students getting 7 A's, 6 A's, and 5 A's in their final examination. Today, we can proudly say this noble institution has produced many responsible personalities serving in high positions in the country, while others are great entrepreneurs.
the Board of Governors of the school also continues to support the management to effectively manage the school, while the All Students Association, TOSA, also continues to support in the best way they can, as well as the Parents Teachers Association, PTA. From the first day of inception in 1961 to date 2011, the school has come as far as talking 50 years of existence and academic excellence. And this, we can say, is a true success through the determination, the toil, and the hard work of every folk. Tema School is 50 years, yes. It's indeed a very big privilege to be the senior golden prefects of the school. And that's one of the, the prior priorities I can say I have actualized in the school. And it's indeed a very big privilege. I'm entreating all old students, especially those who are in Ghana, I'm entreating all of you to come because all students in the diaspora are also planning on coming. Those in the UK are planning on coming. Those in the US are planning on coming. I even heard that a few of our old students who are in Denmark are also planning on coming. So if you are in Ghana, you don't have much excuse not to be present. I am challenging everybody to be present on that day because my expectation of the 50th anniversary is such that it's going to be a very big, big, big thing. I want to encourage and call upon all my colleagues, our year mates, those who are before us and behind us. This is the only platform we can have to, uh, to, to reunite. It is absolutely important that we gather for this 50th anniversary to celebrate our school and to think about the future of our country. With one accord, join us to reminisce on the past, meet old folks and strive to give back to our alma mater what it gave us. So together we can proudly say, Neil Nisi Optimus, only the best.